I'm me, you're you, this is our school news, Dolphin Daily starts now. Happy Monday, Ripples. It's a soggy day out there. Today is due to Tropical Storm Colin. Hopefully the storm moves by quickly and our, our area is not, not not affected too much. Let's get right into the important news. First, here is a reminder. Backpacks, book bags, large totes, large purse, purses need to stay home for the re remainder of the year. Thanks for the, your cooperation th this with this. Second, some of you still have Chromebooks, chargers, cases, library books, and else. More, more else. Check them, check them out. Bring them in, and get your library, your library record clear. Avoid fines and charges. Thank you for taking care of these responsibilities. Eighth graders, we know you're aware of the eighth grade promotion ceremony, which takes place at Fort Myers High School tomorrow, June seventh. Students who are participating should dress up. This means that gentlemen should wear Jesse pants, button-down shirts, neckties, sports coats, and nice shoes. Ladies, this means nice dressy dresses, skirts, or dress pants, and blouse. Keep, keep in mind that, this, that it is, however, a promotion ceremony. It is not an evening on the town, so strapless dresses and the like would not be appropriate. Be careful about the very high heels, too, as you have to do some walking. Participating students need to report to Fort Myers High, which is behind the Memorial Hospital at 5 p.m. The ceremony will start at 6 p.m. If you have questions, please ask our one of our 8th grade teachers today. We have early dismissed. We have early dismissal on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The dismissal time is at 1.50 p.m. Please make arrangements, and if you are interested in knowing what the exam and class period schedules for these days, it is available on the FMA website. Take a look, and please share the information with your parents. The Dolphin Daily staff would like to send a huge shout out to our to the eighth grade teachers with direction from Mr. Shazo and Miss Phillips for putting together a very special evening. Our dance was awesome. Everyone had a great time and we had the chance to spend time with friends before we all go our separate ways to high school in August. We'd also like to send a giant thank you to the people at Lezar for hosting us on a fabulous, informative and fun field trip to the to their supply chain facility, which is five minutes away from FMMA. Who knew that this company provides such a huge service to area hospitals and health care agencies? Special thanks to Miss Barbara Fernandez, who organized the day for us. We had fun getting suited up in personal protective clothing, testing for bacteria, and eating great food. Thanks again. Ripples, we know many of you are planning to have fun this summer. Today at the Dolphin Daily staff, we have a couple of ideas for summer fun. Not for this year, but starting to have you can take one of these tr these trips some some point. Take it away, Justice. Hello, my name is Justice Wise. Today, I'd like to talk about the Art Institute of Chicago. The Art Institute is one of the world's most famous and most renowned art museums, and it is located in Chicago, Illinois. The Art Institute is home to several world-famous paintings, including a huge collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist artworks. Some of the more famous artists were featured are R Renoir and Van Gogh. If you go to the Art Institute, you'll have have a chance to experience the awesomeness of downtown Chicago. You might also want to see the Bagingham Fountain. Buckingham Fountain. The Bean and Navy Pier. Chicago is home to the O'Hare Airport, 
which is a very, very busy airport. Definitely consider this amazing option for a summer vacation. Reporting live for the Dolphin Daily. This is Justice Wise. And enjoy your vacation. Thanks, Justice. The Art Institute in Chicago looks like an awesome place to visit. Ask Ms. Hahn if she has more information about this amazing destination. Now, before we sign off, here's... Some hurricane season information you can use. Currently, we have a tropical storm named Colin, which Colin, which is churning in the Gulf of Mexico. It is expected to make landfall in the northern part of Florida later today. Tropical storms typically cause very heavy rain, strong wind, storm surges, and possibly tornadoes. Tropical storms usually have winds between 39 miles per hour until 74 miles per hour. Tropical storms are not as strong as hurricanes, but they need to be taken seriously by people who live in areas prone to such storms. They, they typically form during hurricane season, which runs every year from June 1st to, until November 30th for the Atlantic season. Thanks for that information about hurricane season. Now everyone remember to do your best, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.